it's time for the clash and thousands of households are set to face a huge council tax hike as local authorities target second home owners. Councils are due to take, make millions and claim that the money raised will be used to fund local services and house building. Now the tax has been put in place to deter the purchase of a second home, a move to attempt to stop displacing local communities, particularly in holiday destinations. But is it fair really to penalise someone for actually being able to afford the second home? Either Captain, I'm coming to you first. Yeah. Uh, yes, if people want to have a, a, a second home for some reason, that's yeah. all fine. But everyone has to pay council tax, and that's something that you have to make sure happens, because what has happened in the last few years is the council tax has constantly been reduced by governments, mm. and that has meant that services that local authorities of all, of all sorts, not, not, uh, not particularly political sorts, but they can't actually do everything they need to do. And if you've got uh, maybe a big authority, then it makes it that much more difficult because you're probably doing education and, and you know, some, some element of, of health as well, and you're trying to make it work for your people. And that's just not happening on a way. And we need to re-look at that whole issue of, of where people should be able to get uh, but, but people are charged council tax on a second term anyway. I mean, you are. Yeah, yeah. Or, but usually it's a bit of a discounted rate if it's got yeah. furniture and then you pay. But if it's before, if it was empty, you could get away with not paying anything. But the rules yeah. have completely changed. Well, this is, this is penalising them. It's mm. twice the council tax. They have to pay double the mm. council tax. Yeah. It used to be half the council tax if you had a second home. Now it's double. And I have some sympathy, obviously, with yeah. your view that people should pay their council tax if you own a property. But what this is symptomatic of... Well, symptomatic of two things. One, the breakdown of local councils across the country, unable to afford to discharge their obligations, and there's a whole host of reasons for that, including net zero right at the you know, heart of it. Um, but also, it, it attests to the utter failure of the United Kingdom to keep up with the number of homes that are required to be built in this country and the appropriate homes for the people who need them which is also partly to do with the unbridled immigration that we've experienced, particularly in the last five years, but over the last 27, sorry, forgive mm. me. <laughs> you know, we've had far too much immigration. We've had more people come to this country in the last 25 years than in all of history mm. before but, that. But building, which... building homes is going to be a really interesting but difficult area because yeah. what's going to happen is someone's going to say, we need, we need a thousand homes here. And then everyone is going to, who lives there is going to say, not here, not here. And yeah. it's that nimbyism that but actually I... drives this not happening. Yeah, which, of course, and... was shown by at least, I think, 12 or 13 members of the Cabinet, the Labour Cabinet themselves, who showed a, a high level of nimbyism themselves. Now, Rachel Reed has said that she's a yimby now, yes, in my backyard. Yeah. But, but I, I, I think that Labour policy is disastrous, if you don't mind me saying so. You know, they're going to take Greenbelt, they're going to turn no, it to be... No, it's not Greenbelt. They're not going to take belt. stuff that is currently termed Greenbelt. It's not Greenbelt. They're not going to call belt. it Grey Belt. Belt. They're going to redefine Greybelt. But, but, but there, 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 are, there are areas, there are areas. Yeah, but this, can I just finish? OK. But it's disastrous because they're going to build absolute monstrosities, cheap build, produced to the lowest possible standard, but completely disproportionately insulated in order to meet net zero. One of the biggest problems with new build now is mould because of the regulations for, 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 for net zero. But the other thing, the other thing that really gets me down is the hollowing out of town centres right across the United Kingdom where you've got a restrictive tanning regime where offices above shops should yeah. be converted to residential ahead of ripping up our green belt okay, okay, but they but aren't but because but of the regulations in place. To the second home. Okay. It's, double yeah. money. it's not green belt. It's grey belt. Uh, it's, it is grey. Well, that, no, but they, that, that's but, a new term. It is but, 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 but it's not what you might regard as green belt. And what we all regard as green belt is... is what he regards as green belt? Well, I regard Greenbelt as those places that are full of, you know, uh, Hampstead and all, all those sort of areas. What we're talking about is areas where there is a reason to, you know, um, car parks, which happen to be, in, for some reason, uh, set aside as part of a Greenbelt. So, what's you know, so those sort of things could, could be used. 